Samantha Jones on Facebook. What is the difference between intent to deny and denial? What's the difference between almost about to be denied and denied? You're almost about to be denied. We're giving you one last opportunity to fix the problem. You're denied. That's the difference. Proud mom on YouTube. What would be examples of questions asked by USCIS in the case of adultery that resulted in a child outside wedlock during an N-400 interview? Um, it depends on what the situation is. If it's adultery in terms of good moral character, or is it adultery in terms of, are they questioning the bona fides of a marriage that you got immigration benefits through? So I would need to know more. Mohammed Manan Rule Islam on YouTube, does the 10 year bar trigger for overstayed persons to re-enter the US on advanced parole while an AOS under U visa? No, as long as you stay out for a short brief, innocent trip. Makan Traor on YouTube, I applied for VAWA and I-485. My I-485 was approved in 2028, but I got a deportation order from my asylum case in 2011. And my motion to reopen was denied in 2019. USCIS just sent me a medical examination. Is that right? Wait, say that again? So they applied for VAWA and the I-485. The I-485 was approved in 2018, but I got a deportation order from my asylum case in 2011. All right, so you're right. And my so, motion to reopen got was denied. Got it, all right. So you need to get the VAWA approved first and then make a motion. Your I-485 would not have been approved. You can't approve an I-485 if you have an order of deportation. So she's getting her facts wrong. You need to get the VAWA approved first. If you have a VAWA, your case should be reopened again. And if they deny it, try again now because they have something called prosecutorial discretion and you need a good lawyer. Something, something's amiss and you don't have the facts right there. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.